What's, What's up, up Poison Mob? Mob? It's your boy, Cam. And it's your girl, Nika. Today, today we're, we're back, back with another, another video. video. Y'all know what's going on, man. I know y'all haven't been seeing us posting, you know what I'm saying, anything, maybe, you know, on the family channel or on this channel, you know what I'm saying, because, you know, holidays been going on. You and know we just saying? been super busy and we have been away from each other. We just didn't want to make no moves or post anything while yeah. we wasn't away from each other. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really what it is, you know what I'm saying. You know, we had to, you know, we had to, have to get a break because, you know, we be grinding, doing what we do. You know, yeah, so for the holidays, you know, we just to spend a lot of family. But all that is over now, you oh, know what I'm saying. Oh, I'm just saying, no, all, no, that's no. Over, all, right, that's over. Right. all that's over now, you know what I'm saying. Nick and King, we're back. We're back. The Johnson family, we're back. we're back, you know what I'm saying. But anyways, before we, have, before we start, you know, you know, going back hard, you know, running these videos up for you guys, we just wanted to explain some stuff because at first we wasn't going to do a video on it, which that's the reason it took us so long because we was debating and, you know, because usually Nick and King don't take mess nowhere. Yeah. So, but we, you know, we talked amongst each other and we decided, you know, our supporters deserve, it's like our supporters just kept asking us questions about, you know, when y'all gonna tell y'all side and we deserve to know. And we feel like y'all do deserve to know because y'all defending us, but y'all don't know. For all the people that's defending us and saying, well, Nikki King is not these type of people and stuff like that. We feel like y'all deserve to know. The, the story or our story. Wow, so, the story. that's for, for the people, you know, asking like, oh, why they would drop a video? That's pretty much it. Like we gotta give the people. We well, feel like they, they yeah. We feel like they deserve to know. Like y'all know everything else, so why not know this? Okay. So by that being said, you know what I'm saying. Like, we gonna we got a list already on what we wanted to touch bases on and touch base. You know, touch all the stuff. Cause there's so on. many questions. So many stuff. So. First thing first, you know what I'm saying, we're going to talk about the situation, the beginning, the beginning, the beginning from how it all ended all the way into, you know I honestly saying? think you should stay, say, like, how it all, all started, like, how, how we even came to her. The situation? Okay. Like, how we even came. met her. Okay, okay, okay. So, first things, first things first, you know what I'm saying, we're going to start off like that by how we got connected with our old manager. First thing first, I was with another network, me and Nick, we was with another network and stuff like that and had another manager, you know what I'm saying, that volunteered us, you know what I'm saying. He recommended us to her when we was coming to Houston because, you know, some of y'all might, you know, some of y'all might remember when, like, all of us was in Miami. I was in Miami, then the next trip we had to yeah, we, to Houston. We met everybody. Um, it was, first we met Kristen Trey. And then we came back to Atlanta, and we met uh, Cora and Carmen. So we all had started taking trips together. We all started running videos together. We yeah. was we all was getting views together. Yeah. We was going to Miami, and people was reposting us saying squad goals, and um, you know, oh they lit, oh they having fun, oh they doing this, oh they doing all that, just from our supporters. Yeah. So we had a we had a, a following as a group. Yeah. Before we came to our old manager. Okay. So she when we met her, um, you know, we when we was in Houston one day, yeah, I was we decided to get like an Airbnb house in Houston and run videos, just have fun. Right. Because, you know, we had already had a personal relationship with these people. We was like, Y'all lit, y'all cool people, we wanna continue to rock with y'all. Let's travel together, let's run videos together, like let's build each other up type stuff. Right. Everybody had that, you know, that mindset and mind goal, like I said, when I was with a network old manager and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up and was like, hey, I got this other person, you know what I'm saying, Houston, that can, you know, work with y'all as well. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go over there, talk, and not allow we exchange numbers. You know what I'm saying? I told my old manager at the time to give my old manager the number, you know what I'm saying? And hit, they hit me up and we was talking and it was like, you know, come over there and stuff like that. So I was moving like, I can't leave, you know, the people that I was with, which, you know, the group that I was already with, I can't leave them, so I'm going to come tomorrow. So we was coming and we came like yeah, the next day. Yeah, we told everybody, to, oh, well, y'all, we feel like this woman is going to help y'all. We feel like she's going to help us build our channel type stuff. Y'all yeah. should come. Yeah. Like, and she was, at first, she was just asking for, you know, who she was asking for. Like, who she asked for. I know it was me and you. Yeah, it was me and you, and then it was supposed to be, um, Corey and Carmen. It was Corey and Carmen. It was Car Carmen and Corey and stuff like that. And uh -huh. like, I, I low key told him about, I low key told her about Christian Trey, but to this day, it's always said that I never told him. But at the end of the day, I mean, oh my we dog. We brought him along. So we, we brought him, you know. So what we saying? came deep to her house, real deep. Yeah, we came real deep and stuff like that. And they had a time when stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was like good stuff. Good stuff being told to us. You know what I'm saying? You know, basically. Which all of it did play out. Yeah, all of it did play out. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. All the stuff came, you know what I'm saying, came good. It played out and it did its part, you know what I'm saying? You know, so first, when we first got there, you know, she was talking to us, running to us, stuff. She was like, oh, I like all y'all energy. Y'all seem like y'all got this. Y'all seem like y'all got that. So, um, 
she was like, oh, well, if y'all want to work with me, can y'all do this video? I got I got um, a nice little YouTuber that I would like to int introduce y'all to. Which I already knew. Yeah, yeah. which which he had already did a video. Um, He had already collabed with the person already. And he was like, oh, yeah, I know her, da, 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 all this type of stuff. But, yeah. And so she was like, oh, yeah, we could just run some videos today and it'll be fun. Like, it'll be an introduction to all y'all and stuff like that. Y'all could do it at my house and stuff like that. And it was really fun. Like... It was really great at the first beginning. Like I felt like, you know, she she was kind. Yeah, when when we first met her, she was kind. She we looked at her like, oh, this lady, she she really like got a good heart. Like she and the nice. first day, the first day we met her, the day after that, we had got um our Airbnb was over and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, we had got put out there. We, we got put, put out our Airbnb, so she let us stay at her house, and yeah. she was like, oh yeah, I think y'all should like act fast, like y'all got it already. Y'all don't y'all really don't need nobody. Y'all got it already. All I want to do is tell y'all a little bit of advice to like push it and keep going. Y'all need to get a house. She was like, oh, y'all need to get a house together. When y'all get that house, y'all gonna like, you know, y'all gonna have more time to just just leave everything at home and leave everything at y'all whole times. I mean, hometowns and, you know, get y'all house together and start grinding. Right. So, so at that time, you know what I'm saying? Now, at that time, you know what I'm saying? We looking at it like, oh, man, like. You doing? You going out your way to help? You know, really help us? You know, what I'm saying uh -huh. we're gonna leave from our homes. You know, what I'm saying still living with our mom and dad, still living with our parents and stuff like, like that. She found us a house. Yeah, she found us a house. Every she time. was she was letting us contact the landlord. She was saying, "Oh, this is how much you just gotta put up. You only gotta put up this amount, and y'all can get it rolling. Y'all get it rocking." So, um, she helped us unlink with our old manager. Yeah. She helped us unlink with our old manager because we felt like our old, old, old manager wasn't doing nothing for us. So she helped us unlink with them. So once we got away from them, it was just like on from there. So yeah. um, it was a time where like on one of our first payments from her, she was like, you know, she told us how to unlink. Yeah. And she said, if you unlink and they take money from you, uh... This was the first the first thing we should have saw, but I felt like we was too into it. Yeah. We seen like, oh, this gonna work. Like we excited, like we finally got like a, a real manager's hands on. She in Houston with us. This gonna be lit type yeah. stuff. So this should have been our first like sign, but I feel like we ain't see it. But yeah, you know, yeah. it, and that's dumb on our part, but I feel like, you know, first thing she was like, if you if um they take cause we was just signed with a studio. So if that's um if that if those people take money from you, I'm not gonna collect the payment because I feel like um uh, you know I shouldn't do that like that I I'm not even that type of person. That's yeah. what she told us. So um we ended up making a, a, a really good, a, good a bit, really good bit of check. So when we unlinked, they took that check before. They, took, they cut it in half. Yeah, but they took the check before that. Yeah. So they took the check before that, and then uh, our first, uh, our first, we was never making money like this. So that's probably one of the reasons why we didn't, you know, really, really worry, about worry about it. So our first check, she, so they took the last check when we first unlinked, and then the next month came around, and uh, it was another time where they, you know, could get that money. So it was, so what happened? They ended up when we ended up getting our check, it was a. Big, it was our biggest check. Yeah, biggest. it was our it was our big, big big it was a big old check. And we was like, oh my god, we're so excited, we're gonna get this check, it's gonna deposit. But when we end up getting it, we only got half of the check is yeah. because the other company that we were signed to took it. Took they took they the didn't check. take the whole thing, it took half. They took half of it in last month's check. Yeah, so, so when they took the all hole, that not, uh, using the whole. Yeah. That was you wanna tell them how much? No, no okay. using the whole. <laughs> it was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. But, but um, when that happened or not, uh, she was supposed to be getting a certain amount of money from our uh, our money. Yeah, that's So, true. she she told us, you know, she took, like, like I said, she told us that she wasn't going to make us pay. But when we did get paid, she ended up getting the the percentage that she, we usually would pay her. She ended up getting, she told us that, oh, um, I'm sorry, y'all, but I help y'all get this, so I'm gonna have to get my percentage. That don't have nothing to do with me. Yeah. Remember when she said that? Yeah. And so she was like, um, she was like, uh, but I'm gonna have to get this much a percent of what y'all originally got. Not that twenty percent. So, um, she ended up getting twenty percent of our original, like before what we thought we was gonna make. She asked for twenty percent of what we thought we was gonna make, and we ended up getting half of that. So she wanted twenty percent of what we were supposed to make. 
and not half of that if you get what I'm saying. So we ended up getting her way more money than we were supposed to. Than we were supposed to because if you calculate twenty percent, I wish I, we could tell you how much we uh, got you. I mean, we got that big check, but if you calculate that, it's like we ended up getting a little bit of no money. A little bit of no so money. So that was the first sign. So that was the first sign. So, so you know. Time start going by, time start going by. We was doing good. Everybody was eating type stuff like that. You know, the work yeah. ethic was there at first. So then they had like situations and stuff like that about, you know, like everybody start going at it, like we going at it with Carmen and Corey and stuff mm -hmm. like that. All that stuff plays a touch. So be enough for like really enough for like the old stuff. Let's yeah, just talk about stuff. let's talk about now. Let's talk about now. So that's how we got into the house. If you guys wanna know. Yeah. That's how we got into the house. That's how we met this person. That's how we signed to this person. Yeah. Which is not the contract that you guys seen, but yes. this is how we this is how we signed to a contract. Yeah. Another contract, not the one that y'all are hearing about, but a contract that yeah, well, so our it's, family's it's ran two over. Different, it's two different contracts. The first contract is what we came into at first, mm -hmm. and then it was another contract trying to pre give proceeded to us after asking for our contract. So yeah. now so we finna we finna get into that situation. Okay. So listen, so not too long ago, I think it was probably like probably like I don't know. It was it was like we got we got messages. Gonna, we got yeah, everything. I was gonna say I'm gonna look at the date, was, so we gonna be on on point it, with this. We got the messages and, and stuff. So it was okay. It was November fifth, nine o'clock in the morning. It was November fifth. I have. I'm, I'm gonna show y'all. I have November fifth. I said, hey. I said, hey. To my manager, I said, hey. When you get a chance, can I have another copy of our contract? The person said, check email. And then it was like, oh, second thought. I I will print one out for you. I will buy a printer today. And when when we get a chance to go over them again, let's work hard for the last ninety days. And did you know some other YouTubers come over to our house one of these days and stuff like that? So the thing was, she was talking about this ninety days thing. So she was saying that basically, uh, oh, you guys, I feel like I helped y'all enough. I feel like you know, in the next ninety days when a new year start, I don't want to be y'all manager no more. Um, you know. And we was like, okay, that sounds good, okay. But it was like, it felt like she was on and off with it. It felt like one day she would say, oh, yeah, I'm going to let y'all go in January. And the next day she'll be like, I feel like we can keep going. I feel like I can, you know, we can start juicing this some more. I feel like this just beginning for y'all. So we just never knew whether she was going to let us go, whether she was just telling us she was going to let us go, or she was just, you know, talking. Right. So... Well, after he said that, after he asked, you know, where's our contract, he had been asking for it. So, she was trying to send us a copy of the contract that we didn't sign. So, we like, we don't want a copy of the contract we didn't sign because we don't remember what's exactly on the contract. And we don't want you to change nothing and then try to send us a new contract. So, we said, okay, she was like, oh, well, I just moved and my stuff is everywhere in the garage and I'll find the contract when I can so we was like, well, just let us know when you find it. So we left that alone. So we said, thank you. The same, it's probably like the same, I think it's like the same day later on that day. We said, thank you. And she said, no problem. After she sent the contract, I mean, the contract of the, um, of what we had that wasn't ours that we did not sign. She sent the contract that didn't have no signature on it. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? Later on that day, you know what I'm saying? I said, thank you. She said, no problem. Blah, blah, blah. So after that, you know, so after that, so now we're sitting at, we're sitting where we at, sitting at home. And we just chilling, you know what I'm saying? And Neek asked me what was the password to um, our YouTube our channel. YouTube channel. So, okay, let me see that. I'll, so, um, I, yeah, I want to see this. All right. So, uh, when we were sitting at home, we were chilling. My mama had just came and visited and all that type of stuff. So, I asked her, uh, I was trying to get into our YouTube channel because I didn't know, I don't know the password, but we trusted her with our password. So, I didn't know the password and I had forgot it. So, that's just my fault. I mean, you know, I really don't have to log in because everything is saved on my computer so I'm like dang what's our password I know it's like one of these you know passwords we have because we have so many passwords for different things yeah. so I'm like it's, I know it's one of the passwords that I remember so I'm like instead of just trying to get myself locked out I'm gonna ask her what's the password so on November 5th I mean after on November 15th after we had already been asking for the contract for 10 days yeah. still never received no contract um, I think on the day the the maybe the 10th or the 11th we received yeah. the contract that we didn't sign the one that was just you know typed yeah. up so so on uh, November 15th I said uh, what is our gmail password because you know our gmail yeah. YouTube same that, thing that, that's at 11 that's at 1107 so 1107 I asked her, what's our gmail password and then so she didn't text back so I said did 25 you? minutes later she didn't text back 
So I texted her again. I said, did you get the pin to your number? Because I was trying to change the password. Because I'm like, okay, if she don't know the password, then I need to change it because we need to, you know, reboot it. So um, all she texted back was she didn't ask me uh, 20, 25 minutes later, she didn't ask me nothing about, she didn't tell me my password. She didn't tell me my password because I still couldn't get into it. So she didn't tell me my password. All she said is, I said, did you get a pin to your number? Because when I, when I tried to change it, it was saying that her phone number. was the one that was get on me. our account. So it was the one that was getting the um, recovery. recovery stuff. So in order to change it, I needed a pin off her phone. That's so, what they say. So... By that, so that she takes back, she waited to take back 25, 25 minutes, minutes later and that. said, No, I haven't. So okay. she, didn't ask, she didn't tell me my password. She just said, No, I didn't get no, um, she said, No, I didn't get no, uh, yeah, Kaiser waking up. But she then, said, then after that, then after that, then once she takes that, she put us in a group message. She takes me and she takes me and you in a group message and said, Hold on, let me read it. Okay, what y'all, so, no, she FaceTimed both of us. She FaceTimed both of us. She both FaceTimed both of us, and we ain't answered, because I'm like, like, what, she, what type of stuff she got going on? Right. And then, no, so, so, she said, okay, so what y'all got going on, seriously, are we moving strategically or in silence? If so, I understand. I just prefer to honestly, I mean, I just prefer honesty, like we always been with each other. Wait. Okay, so we haven't, so mind you, this late at night now, you don't know what we're doing, you don't have, you don't know what we're doing, you don't know if we're asleep or anything at this moment, you don't know what's going you're on. You're our manager, we don't have to ask the phone for you, you're not our mom, you don't you're know. not, even not, even, not, even you're not my husband, not, you're not my wife. Just not even just that, you don't even know what's going on, and this is and where. And you text back 30 minutes later, so you don't know if he's asleep or not. Right, you text, that's right, my point is that, you text back 25, 30 minutes later, after, after, you know what I'm saying, so now, this is, this is where it gets under, like, my skin and her skin because... This is what we got mad for. This is what we got kind of mad for, okay? After she sent that paragraph, she texts after the, she texts back and mm -hmm. said, No, no worries. worries. With a winky, winky face. With a winky face With a emoji. winky emoji. So, she, so, after we didn't reply to her or answer her FaceTime call, she said, No worries. Kid you not, we didn't know that this lady had that much control over our account at the time. So listen. So we trust in this lady that, oh, she ain't going to do no snake stuff to us. So listen now, at this moment when she says, no worries with a winky face, now we are in battle mode for our own, own account. We're battling. She's changing stuff in our account. So we finally got into our account because I remembered the password. So the old password because I couldn't change my password because all the recovery stuff was on her phone. So she changes stuff the same time we trying to change stuff. Um, We got a thing. We got a, a notification to our phone saying your recovery email has been changed. Oh, uh, your number. You got the, you still got the, like, the messages and stuff like I that? I think so. So uh, the number, um, you know, all our two-step verification was on her, um, her phone. It was on our two-step verification. Her email was on our recovery email so it's basically like you trying to lock us we got locked and we got logged out of our own account yes so if, if our, you're own, YouTube, our own youtube channel that me and her sat down and made on a our year own, ago before we met you before we met you you we you trying to lock us out of our account so of course we're gonna be furious of course we're gonna be mad now in my mind what's going in my mind i'm like okay i'm battling for my own channel so that means you have the right of changing anything that got get, dealing with banking banking you could change that have that you could go over. into our youtube account everything and i'm not saying direct she deposit i'm not saying that she would do that stuff but i'm saying when you start changing stuff in our youtube channel and messing with how we eat and our money and how we feed our child that that's that's when we become some pissed off parents Parents. Yes. That's, that's when we become, you want to talk about like, you know, pissed off this and pissed off that. That's when we become pissed off parents. Right. Because you don't, that you, we put lights over our, our baby head and a roof over our baby head with that money that we make off YouTube. Right. So you don't come and try to go change nothing on our, cha on then, our channel trying to lock us out. Then, then, now since we're sitting, now listen, we're still sitting here battling for our channel and stuff like that. All of a sudden. It took us like 30 minutes to get, it to get everything. Then me. Once Nick, you know what I'm saying, Nick started like when you had did something and then it kicked, like it kicked us all out, but you hurry up and got back into yeah, the Yeah, I had, I changed the password. So once I got, I finally got into the account, 
and I got everything because I had to switch her I had to switch the recovery email to our email. I had to switch our phone numbers to our phone numbers. I had to do all the two step verification stuff. I had to do I feel like I was fighting. I'm like my heart real beating real fast. I'm like, babe, sit up. She is taking her account. What she got going on? So after all that, what she did, she's still trying to get into our she's account. She's still trying to get into our account. So we got screenshots of her trying to get in our account. She stopped texting us. She ain't texting us after that. Right. She ain't text us about an hour. Notifications coming to my phone left and right saying somebody trying to get to your account, somebody trying to recover your account, yeah, somebody so trying to get to your account. So we kept clicking, no, no, that's not us, that's not us, that's not us. And then later, and then later she takes something. Now, I kid you not, this late at night, we haven't talked to anybody out the group. We ain't talked to anybody out the group. This was like just me and her and, and our manager at the time. So she goes into our group message. She goes into our group message. What she said? What she said in our group message? What I okay, she goes to our group message. After we ain't tell nobody our business, we ain't telling nobody what's going on. We ain't. We just like we just want this lady out of our account. She just doing too much right now. She got too much. She got too much over us. Yeah. It's, I feel like I feel like if you a manager, you shouldn't have all that access to our account because what you are doing in our account. Right. What you doing in our Gmail? You're not checking no Gmails for us. You're not checking no brand you're not, deals. You're not giving us no brand deals. You, you're not deleting our um, our inappropriate videos off our account. We do that by ourselves. So what are you doing on our account? What you, what you need to have our, all our information for? So that's how we felt. So we like, oh, so she want to try it. She want to, you know, so we locked her out of our account. I mean, she had access, but I guess you don't deserve access since you're trying to lock us out of our own account. Right. So she texted um, in the group message, just quite club game plus friends. So, you know, it got everybody in there. Everybody that we didn't ever... You know, everybody. Er everybody, everybody in the squad, everybody in there. So she said, hey, if anyone hears from Deacon King, can you let them know I'm looking for them so that I can finalize our business the right way? Just saying, no need to hide, be disrespectful or sneaky. Thanks in advance. And she said, oh, yeah, please before morning, I'm not trying to pay a higher, um, I I'm not trying to pay a higher price for my attorney tomorrow. Um, she said, hey, it is what it is. Remember, I help y'all get y'all out of y'all agreement, which is talking about us, talking about the manager thing. I help y'all get out of y'all agreement. Y'all didn't think I was going to protect myself. Have a nice night. Talk tomorrow, I get. That's not even it. That's not even, that's not even the whole thing right there because after that, after that, she texts us, she texts us again. She texts us again. No and the group message was just us. And it's us too. So she after nobody that. replied to her and nobody entertained that she was trying to put our business out there in the group message, she texted us together and she said, come on now, this isn't how BR people do stuff, right? And then she said, talking about Baton Rouge, this ain't how BR people do stuff. Remember, y'all was always real and honest, so why y'all not answering the phone? And she said, why hide and duck and dodge, like really? So she basically saying, you know, we didn't ask for phone. We like, we're not gonna talk to this lady. We don't have to. After we, after we, tonight. after we, listen. After, we fought for our account. After, you wasn't we, trying we, to call we, us like, when we, you was trying to log us out of our account. My point exactly, like anything else, you were supposed to just say, like, okay, well, I got the password. You haven't even sent us our own password yet. Like, you haven't did anything of that. Now, yet. to think about this, you guys, think about this. This is a lady. Yeah, she. You know, yeah, she. She was acting like a mother figure at the time. This is a lady that we put all our trust into. This is yes. a lady that we trusted with our account. Yes, she was playing that role like she was a mother. And yes, she was playing that role like, oh, I love y'all so much. It's not about the money. I love y'all. And oh, oh, I'm going to fix this over here. Um, Oh, I'm going to be the peacemaker over here. But I just stirred up the mess. And behind, I, st I st she stirred up the mess behind the scenes, but then try to be the peacemaker to make stuff look good on her part. Yeah, she was the person that you know was feeding us stuff, saying that she was this such a good person and she was for us, and it wasn't about the business. She had it was about the person. If anything, and and when she said that, everybody started looking like. What she got going on? Because if King had a problem, King ain't never had no problem with our old manager. So if King was the one who's having a problem with our old manager, because she King was the favorite. Mm. King was the one that she always been into and talked to and talked about all oh, this and I have a problem with this and I have a problem with this. So King was the favorite. So if you treat your favorite like this, everybody wondering. So what's going on? Why? 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 If King was acting this way, or uh, King upset, what did, what did you do to King up to be upset? Because King has never been mad at our old manager. They was like this. Or as she portrayed to make it seem like, oh, King, my favorite. Or I, I always talk to King. Or I'm gonna come to King first. Right. So um, that happened. She tried to lock us out of our account. She uh, still was trying to get into our account. Trying to get into our account. So when she failed at getting into our account, 
that's when she texted in a group message with everybody in it. And she tried to text us and say, oh, that's how VR people do stuff. And also, oh, y'all moving like snakes now. So, now I'm, I'm mad. Now, now I'm <coughs> mad at her and I'm not even talking to her. So, I think we went on for like a day. I think we went Like on, two days. Like a day or two. Like, I think it was a whole day and almost a day and a half. Mm -hmm. I think I hit her up like the next, <coughs> like the next, um, day after I came back or whatnot. So, she ended up sending us this video. She put my mom in the group message, uh, Janae in the group message. Um, she sister. put her his sister in a good message and both of our phones in a good message. So she was saying she made this whole video talking about looking like she was finna cry, talking about some. It's not about the personal. I mean, it's not about the business. It's about the personal. I care too much for y'all. I care this for y'all. And then she's slaying up. But I'm going to still, you know, contact my attorney by Monday if y'all don't do this or y'all don't do that. But, you know, I love y'all. Y'all are better than this and all this type of stuff. <coughs> so... Our parents are telling us, like, you know, she deserved to know why y'all cutting her off. She right. deserved to, you know, we felt like, okay, our parents telling us, you know, we should handle this the wrong way and, you know, let her know and not just, you know, stop, you know, cut her off completely because we wanted to cut her off. Yeah, so. We wanted to just stop talking to her. So I called, I called her one night and I ain't gonna care, but I don't care what nobody said. It was like one of the emotional moments, like, uh, like at uh, that time because. Me, you know, I haven't talked to her in a day or two. Oh, wait, wait, no, let's not, we forgot the part where, um, the day before she, um, sent the video, she texted a long passage to Splain. What a passage at? So, you know, Splain is her favorite, so she gonna go out her way. She, Splain is her favorite, so she tried to go out her way to try to manipulate Splain and say, um, this is going too far. It's not about our channel or the money, it's about the relationship we have through. I mean, she, we have, she said we have been through too much for this level of nonsense. Um, she said, I'm not as close to Neek or as close to Neek's mom, so it's hard to communicate with them. But if I offended you or hurt you, I apologize. Clearly, this is a misunderstanding, but there's no way to tell that if we don't talk. I love you to pieces, and I want to fix this. She said, I will pop up, but she can't get into our, um, you know, our apartment place because, you know, they don't let people up without our permission. So, she said, um, please don't let this get worse. And she said, I know this isn't you. So basically she was, you know, trying to, you know, manipulate Splain saying, oh, I don't talk to Neek that much, but I'm telling you that, you know, I love you and I look at you like a son. And um, if I hurt you, I apologize and all this type of stuff. So she's saying all this stuff, feeding all this stuff to Splain. So I'm like, oh, just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. So, so the next day, that's no, when she sent us a video. Day, same day. The same, same day? day? Same day. No, no, same day. We skipped. Because same day, now since I'm looking at it. The same day that she um that that happened when I was coming home when I got home they had this she was gonna kick her but she still oh out. yeah she oh yeah oh so that after she sent that message the same day the same day when after I was driving Splane home didn't reply to her she uh when Splain got home we got this to our phone or did you was it did it, 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 it got to um oh you wasn't home. I wasn't home yet, but I was on my way. Okay, so after that, she uh, pulled up the Google Authenticator thing. And she sent a snapshot saying, um, she said, hey, just want to talk. I'm not trying to make this a bad situation. So she's sending us something that say Nikki King, you know, in our Google. If anybody don't know about that, that's like a two-step verification. So she had that. We didn't even know about. So she had that under her sleeve. So she Two was planning this. Two of verification. So she was just planning this whole plot. It's like she was doing stuff so fast that she had. She was doing stuff so fast it seemed like she had planned. So like and again, like we said, we thought we kicked her out our channel, but we she still she still up, had she still access to our, our channel. channel so I'm like, what the hell going on? How we fix this? How we fix this? So we going through our account again, trying to hurry up and change stuff before she talking about something. She gonna off the, so she gonna said? override our password. She said this. She said she sent us a picture of the Google Authenticator thing, which had a number and you know it helps you get into the account a different way. She said this will override your password. I will wait another 24 hours for y'all to cool off just because so she was trying to make us she was trying to threaten us and say oh i'm gonna take y'all account in 24 yeah. hours if y'all don't call me or y'all don't talk to me so i changed that so I